We're gonna start uh -huh. out easy. You'll have 10 seconds to make number seven even. This is not about math, actually. To make seven even, you only have to take away the letter S at the beginning of the word. Okay, the next one is a bit trickier. Two fours skipped dinner. How come? Because they're eight. I mean, eight. Yeah, these are homophones. The last riddle to warm you up. So what numbers are always on the move? Roman numbers. Roman. Sorry, I couldn't resist the pun. On to more serious stuff. Let's test your logic, shall we? Take a look at this number sequence. Four, six, nine, six, 14, six. As you see, one digit is missing. Which digit logically follows this series? Six, uh -oh. 17, 19, 21. If you pick the number 19, congratulations! You see, each time 5 gets added. 4 plus 5 equals 9. 9 plus 5 equals 14. And 14 plus 5 equals 19. The numbers 6 in between other digits stay the same. They do not change and act more like a frame for all the other digits. Now, take a look at this picture. How many triangles are there? Again, I'm gonna help you a bit. So it is seven, eight, 12, 18. The correct answer is 18. Look, here's how you should count. You have really small triangles on top and bigger ones. Okay, this one is not a riddle, but a quick magic trick to make you the fastest in your class. If you need to multiply some numbers from 1 to 10 by 9, you don't need anything but your hands. Place both palms before you and assign each finger a number, just like you can see it on the screen. If you need to multiply 3 by 9, bend finger number 3. On the right, you still have 7 unbent fingers. That's the first part of the answer. On the left, only two. That's the second part. Voila! Nine Yahoo! times three equals 27. Hey, are you a discount hunter? If so, you gotta be quick on counting mm -hmm. how much money you're gonna save. To calculate the discount you're gonna get during a sale without a calculator, use this trick. For instance, to find out what 5% of 235 is, Follow this method. Step one, you get 10% of the whole. To do that, just move the decimal point over by one place. 235 becomes 23.5. Step two, keep in mind that 5% is half of 10%. Divide 23.5 by half. The answer is 11.75. That is also the answer to the original equation. All right, hmm? this one is just more math magic. Right, so A percent of B equals B percent of A. Like 9% of 30 is equal to 30% of 9. That's it. This trick was really short. I mean, you will probably thank me one day for that when you use it in an exam. A math trick to save your party. What's bigger? One 18-inch pizza or two 12-inch? You've got 10 seconds to think. Mm -hmm. 
Well, there are two answers to that. Geometry claims the area of two 12-inch pizzas is equal to 226 square inches, but the 18-inch pizza is 254 square inches. Well, from this point of view, you'd rather grab an 18-inch one. But hey, geometry and cooking are two completely different things. So, it's the hmm? weight that matters here. The more the weight is, the more calories there are. So you know what to choose, and there will be enough pizza for everyone. Alright, let's have a short pause and have another fun riddle. So, number four wanted to go to a nightclub, but the security didn't let it in. Uh -oh. How come? Because it's too square. I mean, too square. You get the point. Next one here. This is Triangle Jack. And in the geometry world, everyone says he's rude. What can Rude Jack say to Circle Jerry? Jerry, you're pointless. Yeah, that doesn't uh -oh. sound quite polite, but it's just geometry. No offense. Hey, uh -oh. do you know what snake has the most mathematical name? It's Python. Back to more serious mm -hmm. stuff. Let's assume you need to prove 6 plus 7 equals 1. Can you do that? Yep, it is indeed correct, but you gotta take a look at that from another perspective. Let's say these are not numbers, but hours. Do you see what I'm driving at? Right, 6 a.m. plus 7 hours equals 1 p.m. Okay, this one is tougher. What if I say 2 plus 2 equals 5? Yeah, you may want to advise me on going back to elementary school, but what if I prove it to you? Look here. Technically, it's wrong, but there are fun methods to prove it otherwise. Here's the simplest method. Let's assume 0 equals 0. Now, zero can result from the subtraction of one number with itself. So let us think that the two figures at the left-hand side and right-hand side are 4 and 10. So, 4 minus 4 equals 10, minus 10. 4 can be written as 2 squared, and 10 can be written as 2 times 5. 2 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2 equals 2 times 5, minus 2 times 5. And when we twist it a bit, we get 2 minus 2 in brackets, 2 plus 2 in brackets, equals 5, times 2 minus 2 in brackets. Cancelling 2 minus 2 in brackets from both sides, we get 2 plus 2 equals 5. All proved, right? Please don't try it out during your math class. I'm sure your teacher won't be impressed. This one is just for fun. This one's not a math riddle, but yet another magic math trick that may come in handy in an exam. Here's how you can quickly square a two-digit number that ends in 5. Let's use the number 35 as an example. Step 1. Multiply the first digit by itself plus 1. Step 2. Put a 25 at the end. 35 squared equals 3 times 3 plus 1 in brackets and 25. 3 times 3 plus 1 in brackets equals 12. 12 and 25 equals 1,225. 35 squared equals 1,225. Voila! Neat, right? Here comes hmm? another multiplication trick. To easily multiply any number by 5, simply divide the number by 2 and multiply it by 10. For example, multiply 64 by 5. Step 1. Divide 64 by 2 equals 32. Step 2. Multiply 32 by 10. All you need to do is add a zero at the end. You got 320, and it only took you 5 seconds. 
a uh -oh. bit more magic. You already know how to multiply by 5 in no time, and you can do the same with multiplying by 6. Disclaimer, it only works for even numbers. So, let's see how it works. Let's say you need to multiply 4 by 6. First off, you need to divide 4 by 2. You got 2. Next, place 4 after 2, and you get 24. That's the final answer. Yeah, this may not work with bigger numbers. Seems like it's easier to learn the multiplication table by heart. Hey, I can read your mind. If you don't believe me, then think of a number. Keep it simple, you'll have to do a bit of math here. And you may probably need a calculator to play this guessing game with me. So, you think of a number. Now multiply it by 3. Done? Okay. Now add 6. Next step, you need to divide this number by 3. Now subtract the number you thought of from the resulting number. Let me guess, as a result, you got 2, right? Uh oh. No magic involved. It's just a smart math riddle. It works with any number. If you ever struggled to learn all the digits in the pi number, just give up. There are trillions of them. But there is a trick to remember at least seven. Just say, how I wish I could calculate pi. There are three letters in how, one in I, four in wish, one in I again, five in could, nine in calculate, and two in pi. You got 3.141592. The last but not the least riddle for you. Five people build a barn in eight hours. How long will it take 12 people to build a barn? It won't take any time at all. Why would they build a new barn if those five have already done that? Give the guys a break. Plus, this one is not about math at all. We humans are pretty complicated and we don't obey math that much. What if these 12 people will split into two teams of six and start playing volleyball instead of building a barn? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.